Vicklishioners, welcome to Vicklish Fun! If you're Vietnamese and you were born and raised in America, then you probably know that our parents have worked really hard for us to have a better life. You know the stereotype where Asians are pressured to do very well in school? That is actually true. Uh, maybe not for everyone, but for the most part, it's very common. Growing up, my sister and I were taught to get straight A's in school. If we didn't get straight A's, then my parents were not as happy. But then I realized that my parents' mentality was that they wanted us to succeed in school so that we can have a great education. And if we have a great education, then that's our key in life. To them, education was the key to success. At first, I didn't understand that. I didn't understand why they wanted me to be a doctor when I really wanted to become a filmmaker. I actually wrote a song in school about that. I told my parents I wanted to be a singer and tour the world each day. They said, you have to be a doctor and there's nothing left to say. Eventually, I got the support from my parents to pursue film and media arts. I'm not gonna lie, it's an extremely hard career path to pursue. Vietnamese media in the States is dying and I'm pretty sure that eventually people that are born in this country are gonna forget this language. That's why I had a vision to start something. That's why I started Vietlish Fun. I wanted to create Vietnamese media so that I can make sure that my kids will remember this language. Hopefully Vietnamese culture will develop into something where we can trust each other a little bit more and love each other a little bit more. Now our parents came and worked really hard for us to have a successful life. I believe that we're just going to encourage our kids to pursue whatever they're passionate about, whether it's becoming a doctor, an engineer, a scientist, a singer, rapper, whatever it is, because they're passionate about that and they want to do that, right? So if there's a new Vietnamese movie coming out, let's support them. If there's a new artist on the rise, let's support them. Keep this community strong. It would be a shame if we lost this rich culture, but remember that you as an individual also make up this culture. Who knows, maybe 50 years down the line, Vietnamese will have a totally different connotation than what our ancestors have made it today. But that begins here. It begins with us, it begins with you. I realize that the Vietnamese community is growing and that everyone has a different story as I read all the comments from the Vietnamese accents video. In the same way, please let us know in the comment section below what you think about this topic, Vietnamese culture and Vietnamese media. But please let us protect one another in the comment section. You never know who is behind the screen, whether it's someone that's struggling emotionally or if it's like a 12 year old. I think Vietnamese listeners did an amazing job protecting the comment section. Thank you so much. You make Kayla proud. Let's continue to keep this section safe. I hope you enjoyed this video. With that said, remember to check my two videos if you haven't already, as well as my YouTube and Facebook page. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. I'm not